What is going on guys? It is Bucky and welcome to your let's see 30 I don't know, it's 30 something tutorial, who really cares? And before I get started, let me ask you guys this. I I was messing around and I built a couple apps to submit to the app store and now I have this build and bug thing instead of build and run. So if anyone knows how to switch it back to build and run, I mean I can do this, customize toolbar and drag this up, but then it just switches back. So I don't know what WTF's going on. So, if anyone knows how to fix that, I mean, it still works, it's just kind of annoying, then uh, leave me a message and let me know, and I will thank you uh, so much. So now, to the last part of this tutorial, and that's actually building our picker. So, we have a couple methods right here, um, our delegate methods in our interface file, and you're saying, alright, what the heck were these, when are these coming into play? Well, right now. What iPhone development allows us to do is have pre-existing methods that we just need to go and grab from you know whatever it's called the, the iPhone library or whatever and these are methods that you pass it the values of how you want your picker to be built so like how many wheels do you want how many rows in each wheel what do you want the rows to say here's what you need to do so the three methods we use now are this one right here and again I have the um, Safari open right next to me so I'm just grabbing these methods from here but they're all gonna look the same this first one is number of components in picker view and just go ahead and grab this from uh, the library or whatever I'll, I don't know I won't post the link but someone post the link down below so everyone can find it and this is a built-in method that you need to um, kind of use and this is in your delegate method and this is it needs you to return how many wheels are going to make up your picker so we only want that one wheel so return one if you return two there are going to be two wheels but we don't have any need for that so that's really simple all right so now that we got the number of wheels that we want our picker to create what else do we need well there's another method over here let me go ahead and grab this copy and paste and the reason I'm not typing these out is because I don't need to type them out they're built-in methods from our uh, delegate and data source that says alright this is how you should make your pickers so what this one is is this one is called uh, picker view number of rows and component and this saying for each wheel we want you to tell me how many rows you want me to make so we said alright we have one component right here now how many rows do you want in that wheel well we want the same number is whatever is in our array right here so we can either do this uh, one two three four five and return five or what if we go back later and add some more um, strings to here then it's going to be messed up so what we want to do is this return again we could do five that's perfectly acceptable it'll build fine in this case but we want to do is say all right get our picker array which is pretty much our array and get count how many however many elements are in there and automatically return that and why is this better than just putting five you ask well if we ever decide to go back and change our array then this value is automatically going to change as well we don't have to remember it changes to six or seven or eight or anything like that so we're saying all right our picker is now built it says how many wheels we only want one wheel and then how many rows in that wheel we'll say number in our array good we're good to go build our own whoa not so fast your picker needs one more piece of information and that's all right it's automatically going to call this method right here let me go ahead and copy it from apple and paste it and this method is going to be called for each of your components in each row so in this case it's going to be called five times for it's pretty much going to say this I'm going to loop through each of your components in each of the rows and I want you to tell me what you want to put in each of those rows well let's go ahead and do something like this return um, at apples and see what we get well let's go ahead and build and debug this since I can't build and run it for whatever reason and now it's changed the B at the bottom and now it's gonna go through each of those rows and put apples in each one well I mean that's great and all if you want this and you see that works but let's go ahead and quit the iPhone simulator and say alright we don't want to give you apples for every single row what we want to give you is 
the object at the array object at index row so what this is going to do is say all right for your first component in row 0 give me whatever array 0 which is tuna good enough and now I said all right what about if I wanna put a title in for the third element then they get to picker object at array 2 and that would be apples so this is pretty much what's happening when you create your array you first have to give it how many wheels do you want to draw we want to draw one then you say all right how many rows do you want in that wheel well we want however many is in our array obviously then for each of the elements when it loops through when it's creating your uh, picker it's gonna say alright for component 0 row 0 put tuna for component 0 row 1 put what was it fish for component 0 row 2 put apples and it's go, gonna go through and automatically create everything for you easy wheezy so this is what you get for your finished product tuna fish apples more tuna press me whore <laughs> I mean ho more tuna and pumpkin not blumpkin pumpkin just like that so that works all fine and dandy and whenever I first uh, was working with this I was like alright so if you're doing this alright this method gets called once so you're passing it one picker in one row so how does it know to return the stuff for every single I mean like five times or twenty times or however many times does this well the cool thing about delegate methods is they get called automatically as needed so this method is actually gonna get called five times and how do we know that we don't even need to know it it's built in to iPhone development so these pretty much take all the confusing aspects out for you and this is pretty much how you build simply really simple methods to build your picker so pretty much saying alright in this give me the number of wheels give me the number of rows and let me know what you want for each row and as far as this this stuff goes right here don't even worry about this stuff I'll take care of it Bucky alright and that's the cool thing about iPhone development they made everything so easy but you know I got a feeling I'm running out of time so uh thank you guys for watching if you have any questions make sure to leave me a comment and someone p -p -p please tell me how to get rid of this stupid bug thing because it is really scaring me so anyways thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later